here. Uh, this is Kevin Davis from Kevin'sTrek.com. I am here with Tico Reindorf. Uh, um, we want to, you know, we want to talk also then about what you're up to training wise. Uh, that just kind of the concept behind what led to uh, all your work with, you know, with Big Man Ripped and uh, with the website talking about training methods and and getting getting jacked and ripped for big dudes. Um, so the whole thing sort of came about, you, like, we were talking about how we used to be larger fellows. Yeah. Right? So, um, as a kid, basically, I wasn't, I wasn't born in North America. I'm actually from, from West Africa. I'm from a place called Ghana. And, uh, came here when I was five. And the difference between African food and North American food as you can imagine, it's 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 great. It's vast, right? Yeah. So imagine being five years old and being exposed to like frosted flakes, and right, like we didn't have that stuff back home. So obviously, I took my fair share of that stuff in, and I I got I got big. I blew up. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, by the time I was in grade seven, I was almost like two hundred pounds, man. I was a big kid, and um. In high school, started uh, started working out. I knew I wanted to make I wanted to make the basketball team. Wanted to get obviously the attention from the ladies. So uh, started. And initially, uh, I did a ton of cardio because you don't know you don't know any better. You just know I need to do a lot of cardio to lose weight. Um, did that and just looked sort of stringy. Yeah. So picked up some weights, and from there, that was like, it was game over. Just started lifting, started lifting. Um, got really big. Like, get, I would say close to like 300 pounds. Like, Damn. Yeah, I, I, I was big, big boy. And um, I figured it's nice to be big. It's nice to have like big traps and to walk into a room and be like lumbering. But at the same time, it's also nice to be able to take your shirt off, right? And, like, have people be like, oh, my God, look at those abs, right? Mm -hmm. Especially girls. Right. <laughs> Hopefully, girls. So um, that's where the whole, like, big man ripped concept came from. I was like, okay, I know how to train for mass. Um, how do I right. train to, to lean up? And it's something I struggled with for a while, like, tell you the truth. Um, I'll tell you a story about, uh, there was a friend of mine who, it was a guy I used to work with, this guy, Henry, and we had a very similar body type. And um, he actually won the Mr. Canada back in the day. And nice. uh, I got a call from another buddy, and he's like, listen, you have to go on Facebook. You have to check out Henry's pictures, because he's like, he's jacked right now. This guy's ripped up, right? And uh, so I go, I go to uh, Facebook, and this guy's got, like, muscles on top of muscles, and he has a six-pack. So I'm, like, I'm sort of kicking myself. I'm, like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> me and you, we used to look somewhat similar, and now you're all ripped up, right? So I was, like, okay, I'm going to call Henry. So called him, met up with him, went over some diet stuff, went over some of the programming stuff, and that's where um, I sort of – started creating the framework for Big Man Ripped. Okay. Uh, some of the stuff that he talked about sparked an idea. Um, he was talking about lifting heavy and still like still be being able to drop weight while lifting heavy. Right. Um, I think like most people who are in the, in the industry, um, the trend has been to do the fat loss workouts where you're doing like just like a lot of like volume and you're doing all this stuff which is getting your heart rate elevated. But the problem is, or what I found the problem was that um, I'd always get weak. Like I do those workouts and then my strength would just like go right into the toilet. So I wanted to figure out a way where I could keep as much muscle and I could um, still lean up and still be strong. And yeah, big man ripped. There you go. <laughs> No, I mean, that's a great concept, and it's like a lot of people traditionally talk about, like you said, talk about it as though you've got to do one or the other. 
Right. You got to gain strength and muscle, and then you got to be ripped. And that's that's. I mean, that's the you know the traditional bodybuilding concept that we probably most of us started learning uh, about strength training in in that way in that method. And I mean, I know when I got into it, just like you said, you know, we were talking about being you know being big boys, you know, being younger. I mean, I was about two seventy in high school. Damn. Okay. That's what. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's what got me into wanting to do this. I was, right. I was, I was a fat boy, and I wanted to. I, I mean, like you said, I wanted the ladies to notice when I took my shirt off, or I don't know, whatever. You know what I mean? I wanted right. to, wanted to feel better and look better, and, uh, but it was always you've got a bulk and you've got a cut. Right. You're adding muscle, and then you're losing fat, and they're two completely exclusive things. Right. By the time I got, uh, right after I got out of college. I started working with a guy who was a chiropractor and nutritionist, and he worked with like some some uh, competitive bodybuilders and things like that. Uh, but we started working together just to kind of really just to be an ex a good example that I could use uh, with my clients and clients of his. Um, and I mean, following you know the methods and the the, the diet plan and things like that that he gave me, and and then doing, but still doing the same. Uh, strength and power based lifting that I had been doing before that at the same right. time with the proper eating, the proper nutrition, then I was all of a sudden, you know, I, yeah, I think at that point I dropped about 40 pounds. Nice. And we're talking like February through May. Nice. I dropped about 40 pounds and I gained like 12 pounds of muscle in that time. Right. Right. Which speaks to the fact that they don't have to be mutually exclusive. Right. And, right. Uh, I don't know. I feel like that's that's like one of the the fallacies. That's one of the myths that's been passed. Is that you can only be either like lean or you can be big. That's bull. Um, now the conversation just went phallic. Uh, uh, okay, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's that's basically it's bull. I mean, it's all based on the nutrition and how you actually structure your programs. So um, you're talking earlier about like bulking phases and like that whole mentality sort of people apply that same mentality to training right if you look at a lot of like um the way that we train in north america is everyone always follows that almost that linear block training uh like way of thinking right right uh strength followed by powers followed by hypertrophy things like that but there's other there's other ways where you can train where you're going to get multiple qualities at the same time, right? And um, that's what I was really investigating with the whole big men rip thing because I was like, you know, I've done programs where one day I trained for power, another day I trained for like pure like strength, right? What right. If, like the undulating, right? The undulating periodization. What if you could use the same thing relative to fat loss? Right. What if you could go one day where you're lifting heavy, right? You're activating the central nervous system, and then the next day you do more of a fat loss workout. Um, you could still maintain your strength. You could still lose weight, right? And then lastly, this one was almost like an added bonus. Those fat loss workouts could almost act as uh, a recovery for the heavy CNS days. Right. So yeah. That was a little bit of the thinking behind that whole thing. I like this idea of throwing in the, you know, the kind of the built-in recovery like that as well. Right. Yeah. I it's something to... that people leave out a lot. Yeah. Um. It's you know what? It wasn't even something that I intentionally meant to do. I was just like, oh, oh, okay. This could also happen too, right? Because uh, yeah. you're clearing out all that stuff. So, yeah, man. Um. So basically, I started on this program. Uh, a little over a month ago, um, and right away, I dropped the weight, which was, I dropped 10 pounds within, like, that first month, and um, in terms of my lifts, that's that's what I was actually really happy with, because I was expecting, okay, the weight's coming down, what are my lifts going to look like, but on those heavy days, I was still crushing weight, so I was like, yes, you've got something, put it down on paper, give it to people. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, so now that so of course, I mean, we talked a little bit about the general concept there. I mean, we're so within the book, you know, you talk about um, the different types of training days, the strength days versus the fat loss days. Uh, also, I mean, you even throw in, um, you know, I, I forget what you called that chapter about about how a big, you know, how to how to eat to be ripped. Right. 
um, as well. So you mean the kind of just like looking at the content table here, you've got, you know, obviously what you're doing. You've got eating big. You've got stuff about supplements. You've got stuff about how to recover. Right. Um, arms and calves, you know, that are kind of some issue areas that people are always probably, you know, I mean, I know, I'm sure as a trainer, you get questions about those all the time. Right. Uh, so, I mean, just really kind of a very all-inclusive. You know what? I try to make it complete. I mean, whenever I write a program, I try to make it pretty much complete. And you know, you know that diet. Being part of the former Fat Boy Club, you know how important, like, the whole diet thing is, right? Um yeah. It's the whole thing right there, just about. Right. So I could go in there and I could be doing all the workouts, but if I'm, like, heading over to Mickey D's after I'm done, I'm not going to see anything. Mm -hmm. So, and you'd be surprised how many people don't know the basic foundation of diet. That's something that was actually pretty shocking. Um, how many people don't know how to eat real food? So that had to go in there. Yeah, no, I mean, I think it's been, like I said, I, I was, you know, really impressed looking at, looking through the book. I, you know, got my copy and uh, just the, you know, obviously there's a lot of people out there sharing a lot of information. Um, we know some of it is lacking, but some of it, there's some people out there that are sharing some really awesome stuff too. Uh, but just the way that you wrote this too, um, it's really, you know, more down to earth. Like, I mean, it's, it, it kind of sounds like you would talk if you were just hanging out talking to your buddies or whatever, you know what I mean? So it's it, it's fun to read. Right. Um, man, like, do you really want to read another textbook? I don't. <laughs> like, that's read what plenty of those. <laughs> yeah, that, like, that's what it boils down to. I mean, uh, I think the people that I, I resonate with, like even you and I just sitting down and talking, it's... Right. It's just two guys who are just shooting the the breeze. I didn't swear. Huh? <laughs> so it's it's two guys that are shooting the breeze. And well, I don't need the bleep button is what you're saying? No, you don't need the bleep button. But that's how I, – I feel like that's how information should be shared. Like, I don't need to go over mm -hmm. it. In head. I just want you to like, okay, do you see what I'm talking about? Do you get it? Okay, now go do it. Right. And that's been some of the best, uh, I mean, even, you know, I mean, going through school and studying uh, exercise science and studying all this in classes, of course, I got, you know, I learned a lot and got a lot of information from that, but uh, one of the best sources of, of new ideas or new workouts or things like that for me has always been, you know, sitting down with a buddy and just like, you know, somebody, somebody else who's interested in this stuff. Right and wants to talk about it and having right. a good conversation. I mean, you know, you come up with some good value that way. Right. Uh, and, and it really, it re hits home and it kind of makes sense to you. And it sinks in a little more. Yeah. I mean, ultimately I want everyone who picks up a copy of that book to, I want them to understand and I want them to sort of like, you know what, this is me. You know what I mean? Like I don't change the tone. It's not, I just, this is me. Okay. This right. is talking to Tico and this is Tico. Sometimes I'll swear at you. You know, but that's what friends do. So just sometimes. Just well, a lot of times. <laughs> a lot of times, I'll swear at you. I read the book, Tico. You can't lie here. <laughs> I, I, I dropped some. I dropped some bombs up in there. Uh, I was fighting with my girlfriend at the time that it, it was written, so there was a lot of uh, a lot of fuel. Kind of influenced it a little. Yeah. Uh. So now, so where, when, and where are we going to be able to pick up? You know, for for everybody that wants a copy of the book. Uh, it is slated to be launched next month, so you guys are looking for a December launch. I figure That's everyone's going to eat, like, uh, you guys are all going to eat, like, pigs over the holidays, yeah. and then you're going to feel guilty, and then you're going to think back to this conversation and be like, you know what, I want to be big and jacked and ripped. So, yeah, December launch. Um, it'll be, it'll come up on the Tico Randorf website. Okay. Um, and I'll send links to you and send links to some of the people that we know. Yeah, and I'll post. I'll be, you know, for anybody that's following what I'm doing, I will, obviously I'll come back, you know, and, and add those links on below this video. Um, and I'll also, if you're, if you're interested, just shoot either, you know, uh, sign up either for my list or, or Tico's 
uh, email list, and I'll I'll make sure as well as I know Tico will uh, to update whenever the book is available. Um, but like I said, I've seen the, the you know the, the book written the pre the pre launch copy, and uh, it's pretty good stuff. Like you're you're gonna want to check it out. Thank you, thank you, so. thank you, Kevin. Man, my ego's on like ten right now. You're giving me a. <laughs> I need a copy of this video because this is going to out to everyone that I know. I know we we already said that we've got to get Tico's mom on here watching. Yeah. Um, you know, to, just so she can see how special her little boy is. <laughs> my mom. It's going out to my mom. It's going out to all my haters. And there you go. it is definitely going out to my boys because they're going to they're they are part of the hating contingency. So of it's course. definitely going out to them. So yeah. Well, I gotta say, man, I you know I've been uh, introduced to Tico a while back uh, through a you know a mutual friend of ours, uh, another trainer, and I've been really impressed with some of the stuff Tico's doing. He's got the information is legit. He's got the cool you know the cool entertaining stuff like the the comics that are awesome, really funny, and and putting out you know some good product like this like this book that you're gonna want to check out. So somebody to keep your eye on. For sure. Thank you. Thank you for the for the kind words. Yeah, man. Uh, so, any you know anything else we want to throw in there that people need to know about what you're doing before we wrap up the broadcast? I'm trying to think. I mean, I've got the the YouTube channel where um, YouTube channel where I just you know what I get on camera and we talk lifting, we talk everyday life, we talk we talk everything, right? So you can find me on YouTube. I believe the channel name is it's workouts for men. I should have called okay. it Tico Reindorf, but I opted to go for workouts for men. So look me up. Yeah, it's uh, funny the things that you find out after the fact with that, right? Like naming things. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah. There's so there's that. Uh we've got the the holiday cards coming out. So once again, if you like to give cards to the people that you love, the people you don't love, anyone, um, <laughs> check those out. And uh, there will be more Mighty Trainer stuff coming out, more blog stuff, just more stuff. More Great. stuff, Kev. Yeah. All, all the time, making more stuff. More stuff, all day. Great. Well, guys, you know, check out the different resources. I'm going to have the links down below. Like I said, uh, I'll, put, I'll throw in a link there for Tico's YouTube uh, channel as well, so you can go follow him and see what he's up to. Uh, make sure to comment below here and let us know what you thought or if you have any uh, questions either for myself or for Tico. And we will catch you next time. Tico, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me, Kevin. Thank you for – if you're the person watching at home, thank you for watching. Uh, go to my website. All right. All right. <laughs>